Hello Panda Landis. Today I'm going to be building or speed building a more affordable house. It's 36k. I mean like it's on the lower range of what I usually do. I'm going to be starting to do this because I get that not everyone has the amount of money that I have on Bloxburg and it's really difficult to get that amount. So we are going to be starting to do a little bit more cheaper homes for everyone to rebuild if they like the idea if they need a house or whatnot. So let's get started. I'm not really sure what theme I was going for. I just kind of built as I went and we'll see how it turned out. Over here will be the entrance of the house. I'm adding in these carpets because I always like putting like rock looking pathway as you might know from my other builds. Now I'm going to be outlining the area of the house and seeing how I like it. Over here would be kind of like a back patio. I don't usually include these in my builds, but I thought it fit this house nicely. In all honesty, I didn't know where anything like any of the rooms would fit out to be, so I just played along with all the spacing because this was a fairly small house than I'm used to and there were a lot of tight spaces, but it actually looked really spacious when I was done building. This is the part where I decided the kitchen would be right next to the living room. Instead of adding in walls, I kind of just connected it in a way. Since the outdoor patio has like a dining area or a dining table, I just added in these chairs so you could eat right in the kitchen if you wanted to or if it was raining outside. Next for the fireplace, I didn't want a plain old fireplace, so for this you're going to be needing advanced placement and I added in a window so you could clearly see the fire in the fire pit and then I played around with the sofas and changed the coloring. I actually used wood because I wanted to use wood in some of my builds for a long time instead of doing all grays and whites. So I might incorporate them a little bit more. Now the counters I wasn't really sure what color so you see me playing around with it a bit. I'll admit this wasn't one of my best builds, but I added lots of different color choices that I usually don't like. This dark orange brown color, and I really liked it. It gave it like an old texture look, and I even added it inside of the house and all around.
now over here would be a, the break off to the bathroom and also the one master bedroom. Underneath the window I created something, I don't know what to name it, but it's kind of like a table, a desk area all at once. I just put plants in it and made it original. I actually haven't seen this anywhere, but if there is, I give credit to that person, but I've never seen it. You're welcome to use this if you really like how it looks, and you're welcome to rebuild the house, of course, because that's why I build these houses, for you guys to rebuild them. And of course, you can't forget about the plants, can you? Now I'm going to start decorating the bathroom. The bathroom was a little bit tight space, but I made it work. And now some last finishing touches with the lights, of course. Since this one wall was a little bit too plain, I decided to add a clock because we didn't have one in the whole entire house. I know these tables you could see under them and they're see-through because I didn't want to add a fence to cover it all since the 
tables would pop out more. I just wanted a little bit of shape in the middle and this kind of looked really cool. So I just kept it that way. I usually don't do this in builds, but I just felt like doing this for this house. I don't know why, but I did it. I surrounded the house with flooring and then I colored it a lighter green shade of grass so it looked like the house had fresh green grass and I put fences surrounding it for privacy if you wanted to make a neighborhood with more of these houses. Then over here I added in two bushes which were tall and this one fence with the little string to keep people out of your backyard. To finish up the build, I added in lots of plants, of course, duh, I'm Panda, I added in lots of plants. Welcome to my channel! <laughs> and then I colored them to my personal colors that I chose, because why not literally random colors, because they looked fine. And then some more last finishing touches, and we are done with the build. If you enjoyed this video, click that subscribe button to be part of the Panda Wanda Habitat and click that bell to be notified of when I post. Could you be the first to comment? Panda Girl is out. Thanks for watching. Bye!